As we start to get into the last beginner's guides for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, we'll be looking at characters that either haven't really clicked with me or characters that potentially I've overlooked. The likes of Miles Morales that I covered recently was one that I definitely overlooked, so I absolutely loved him. Now, for Electra, she falls into the category of characters that she hasn't really clicked for me, unfortunately. It could be down to the fact she has a hybrid character and I seem to have struggled with them when I have been reviewing them. But in this video, to let you know why she hasn't clicked with me, different areas we'll cover. We'll start off with an overview, we'll talk about her stats, we'll then check out her abilities, we'll have a look at the team bonuses, we'll check out the synergy attacks that are available, we'll talk about the best build option available for her and what ice weight you want to equip, we'll then have a look at her alternative costume, and then to finish up, we'll have a quick summary. So we'll start off with the general overview. So Electra is a hybrid character in that she's got a mix of melee and range for her moves. She's actually got two of each. When we look at the tags, they're a bit all over the place. You've got melee, you've got energy, you've got projectile, and then you've got pierce as well. But thankfully due to her hero trait, which is element when it comes to actually building her, you can tie this all together with one of the elements. Now of course you can attach fire, ice or shock to her size, which looks pretty awesome. And it's great for bumping up the damage numbers as well. So she has got that as a plus point. Her stats, as is the case with most of the characters, to be honest, with a few outliers, are very much middle of the road. Her strength is a C, vitality is a D, mastery is a C, resilience is a C, durability is a D, and then finally her energy is a B. So the energy is on the higher side, but it feels that like her energy usage on her skills is a little bit on the higher side as well. So it pulls that down, you can't really spam the skills too much. So that's the overview anyway, let's now have a more in-depth look at her abilities. The first ability we have here is Lethal Bally, and this one's actually really pretty nice for taking out trash and doing a, a decent amount of damage to a boss and an elite if they're stunned or staggered as well. You can see the damage rating is up at A, stagger rating's way down at a D, so you want to use her other skill, which we're going to look at in just a moment, to stagger bosses, and then you follow up with this. So again, as mentioned, you can use it to take out trash there, so pretty nice skill. If you are using it against the boss, have the heroic camera on and make sure you lock on to them, otherwise you're probably going to jump way past them. But if you're locked on, you'll just spin around them and that means the damage you do can really be pretty decent. The next move we have is one that can make you look pretty stylish when you're dodging attack, but it's actually not that useful. It's Explosive Assault. She'll jump back, she'll throw out a series of explosives. It's actually very similar to Hawkeye and also Psylocke who have this skill, but the difference with those two characters is they have other skills that can self-synergize with it, and that's something that Electra is missing there, unfortunately. So if you want to look pretty cool, dodging attack, then use this, but outside of that, I wouldn't really use this myself. The next ability here, we have another ranged one. So this particular one is called Throne Stars. Now this could be nice if perhaps she's the last character standing and you need to take down a boss when your health is on the lower side. You can just hold back and just whittle down their health for this. Now she fires them out pretty quickly as well and it has the rapid fire synergy trait. So if you pair it up with characters that can convert that into Ricochet, you can actually do really pretty decent damage with this. The final ability we look at here is Psy Strike, so you'll use this to break the stagger gauge on an elite or a boss and then once it's broken you'll use Lethal Bally to take down their health. Now this is pretty decent but as a boss killing skill if you compare her to the likes of Black Pan for a Wolverine or even Psylocke who's probably the best character to compare her to, she really doesn't come off as good compared to the rest of them and I think overall this may be spoiling it a little bit but Electra feels like a, like a downgraded version of Psylocke almost but that is something we're going to talk about later on in the video once we get to the summary section. But that's all that abilities anyway in regards to the, the light and heavy attack and the ultimate there's no special mechanics on them that really need to be discussed in any way there so let's now check out the team bonuses. One of Electra's strongest areas then has to be the team bonuses. It's actually nine different teams here she is part of, so you can drop her into various different teams and get a nice percent bonus from the team bonus system. And when I used to use the old format as well, she would always appear as one of the best teams. So if we look at the teams in question, you've got Femme Fatales, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Anti-Heroes, Defenders, 
Agile Fighters, Women of Marvel, Martial Artists and also Cutting Edge as well. Now the characters that appear most across these different teams, meaning you can get a real nice team bonus from them. You've got Gamora who appears in a whopping 5 teams, I think that's probably the most in the game. You've got Black Widow at 4, Wolverine at 4 and then you've also got Psylocke at 4 as well. There are low. If you were running a team with Psylocke and Elektra, there's definite overlap and I would say run just Psylocke rather than Elektra, unless of course you are a huge fan of the character of course then run Elektra. But that's the team bonuses, let's have a look at the synergy attacks. Synergy attack then, Elektra is very much middle of the road, currently she can do 220 different synergy attacks depending on who she's paired up with. She does have the synergy trait on all four of her abilities so that is nice. You've got explosive, charge, rapid fire which in turn leads to the ricochet which again can be really nice due to the speed she's firing out all her shurikens. And then you've got area assault as well there. Now the top five characters that she synergizes really nice with, you've got Starlord and he can work really nice because he can add the elemental trait to it as well. You've then got Ghost Rider, for Storm and Crystal. Actually looking at all of those characters, I believe they can all add that elemental trait to her. So that's a great combination. Bottom five, ones you want to avoid. I don't think I've seen them before here, but Captain America is a character you want to avoid if you're looking to do synergy damage with Elektra. You've got Psylocke, Deadpool, Thanos, and then once again Scarlet Witch at the bottom there. So that's all the synergy attacks. Let's look at the build option that's available. With Electra then, when it comes to building for her, it would be difficult if she didn't have the elemental trait because otherwise she's got the four different tags for each of the abilities and they're falling under different stat types as well, so they're falling under mastery and both strength. But thankfully, she's got that elemental trait which means you can add an element to her. The, the best one to use as always would be shock, although personally I think fire uh, size do look really nice. So what you would go for anyway, you would add the shock ability attribute to the user, increase the damage of shock attacks by 24.9% and also increase damage done to enemies by 165 You would use that until you actually get the, the shock attribute to add to her. That can be one that can be decent for doing damage due to all the different tags she's got there. I wouldn't place crit on her at all for the fact that she is decent at staggering bosses but with the shock element as well she'll be staggering elites and so on and that will then turn lead to an auto crit anyway so I prefer just to bump the damage numbers up on her. But that's the build option, let's check out the alternative costume. In the moment then with Electra, the costume is just a, a simple recolouring and it's one that to be honest from far away it's hard to actually see the difference in this particular one. Now this is unlocked by getting 48 stars on the Gamma Rift but it's the first Infinity Rift in the game so you really shouldn't have trouble getting the full stars on that. In regards to future potential costumes I would like to see, there's quite a lot of options available for Electra. but the one you can see on the screen at the moment is one I would really like where she's got the face mask, she's got the hair and the ponytail and she's got the black look as well. For me that's a, a really great look for her, fingers crossed that's the one I would like to see come into the game. But let me know in the comments below which alternative costume you would like to see and let's now finish up with a quick summary. Electra then is a character that, to be honest, I don't really have any strong thoughts on her either way. She's not a bad character in any way, but she's certainly not up there with the top characters in the game. She's just a very average character. I think the reason I've been probably sounding a little bit more negative in this review is that I draw a lot of comparisons between Electra and Psylocke and in almost every way, if not every way, Psylocke is far superior to Electra because I don't really follow the character too much if I was to have to go for one or the other I would without a doubt go for Psylocke but as always if you're a fan of the character if you put enough time into basically any character in the game you can come up with fun builds and you'll also be able to enjoy them as well but that is the Electra Beginner's Guide next up we have Spider Gwen following on from that I know I've had a lot of requests for a fair amount of time but we will be covering Black Widow and Daredevil and then after that I think it will only really be about six or seven beginner's guides to go until we get the new characters coming with the upcoming expansion pass. 
bits. But as always, hope the video has been helpful. If you enjoyed it, take the time to hit the like button, the share button, and also if you're not subscribed and join the videos, feel free to subscribe as well. And thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all again soon.